If you are or have been in a toxic relationship, especially with someone who has a cluster B personality disorder, such as a narcissist, you have certainly heard the phrase walking on eggshells, which is commonly used to describe a state of extreme caution, where a person feels the need to be overly careful with their words, their emotions, and their actions in order to avoid upsetting or angering the narcissist. I'm Lisa Blanc, and today I will give you 10 signs to recognize whether you are walking on eggshells. In this video, I will specifically refer to romantic relationships, but this information also applies to other types of relationships, whether that be with a parent, a boss, a friend, or anyone you are seeking approval from and or connection with. At the end of this video, I will explain why walking on eggshells does a lot more harm than good. Okay, so here are 10 signs that you are walking on eggshells. Sign number one is that you become very, very hypervigilant. You are constantly feeling on edge, watching and gauging your partner's every word, mood, and behavior, trying to predict prevent and protect yourself from their explosive emotional reactions and punishing behaviors. Sign number two is the heightened fear of experiencing these negative consequences, which can include verbal abuse, emotional manipulation, as well as a variety of other negative behaviors that the narcissist will resort to when their insecurities and anger is triggered. The third sign that you are walking on eggshells is that you are becoming progressively submissive and subdued, constantly fawning, trying to please and appease the narcissist. Number four, you feel emotionally drained and defeated because no matter what angle or approach you take, nothing works. And as time goes on, you feel more and more helpless and hopeless and you feel like a total failure. Number five, you are constantly censoring your thoughts and masking your emotions, watching your every step, and you're behaving in ways that are not aligned with your needs, your values, your personality. In other words, you're putting on a facade and suppressing your authenticity in an effort to keep the peace. So your sense of self gets eroded to the point that you don't even know who you are anymore. You don't even know what you like. Your self-esteem and your self-confidence are shot and you gradually lose all sense of your own identity. Number six, a huge sign that you are walking on eggshells is that you feel invisible and insignificant. So small, like a tiny fraction of the person you used to be. You are in such a compressed state of being, having reduced yourself to fit into the narcissist's tiny box, living in this tiny bubble with this tiny purpose of trying to satisfy the narcissist, and you feel pathetic as you shrink more and more, you lose all of your own self-respect. Number seven, you are shutting down and you've stopped trying to communicate your needs because anytime you try to speak your truth and express your feelings, it seriously backfires. Number eight, you are in a constant state of confusion. Even when you recognize that this relationship is toxic and that the narcissist is the one poisoning you, you will continue to question the relationship, question if you're to blame. You will ignore your intuition and your own logic and stay stuck in the dissonance. It's like you become paralyzed and trapped in the very situation that is slowly and systematically destroying you. Number nine, you are constantly prioritizing the needs and emotions of the narcissist while neglecting your own needs, your own well-being, and your boundaries. And despite you giving up your own needs and doing everything to please the narcissist, the overall toxicity in the relationship continues to build and intensify. Instead of recognizing that this is toxic and that there is 
no way for you to cure their narcissism, you still are stuck in the belief that you can save them. Number 10, last but definitely not least, when you are being subjected to persistent mistreatment, manipulation, or provocation, it can eventually lead to reactive abuse. This typically happens when you realize that despite your best efforts to please and appease, your constant fawn response is not working. It's not keeping the peace. It's not preventing drama or conflict or protecting you from harm. And so you may shift into the fight response. After walking on eggshells for so long, you're probably extremely frustrated and desperate. Like a pressure cooker, your pent-up anger may erupt once it hits a boiling point and you may react with hostility or aggression towards the narcissist. Now, this is not an excuse or justification for aggressive or abusive behavior, but it is a maladaptive response to ongoing persistent abuse which you will need to take responsibility for and make adjustments to correct the situation that is causing you to behave in these ways. The reason that consistently walking on eggshells does more harm than good is that it inadvertently reinforces and enables the abusive behavior. The narcissist is not facing any consequences for their actions and in fact is being reinforced. So this perpetuates the toxic dynamics in the relationship. And it's important to recognize that walking on eggshells is not healthy and it's not sustainable. It undermines emotional health, stifles personal growth, and it keeps the toxic dynamics going, making it impossible to have open communication trust, or emotional safety. If you find yourself in a situation where you are constantly walking on eggshells, you need to consider seeking support from a trusted friend, a family member, or a mental health professional to explore healthier ways to navigate these toxic dynamics, to set better boundaries, and really to start exploring your options and to reevaluate your relationship and your life. To learn more about toxic relationships, click on the link above. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more about how to recover from a toxic relationship, uh, check out my toxic relationship recovery program that I linked in the description section of this video.